Hello and welcome to this video. After a long while, we're gonna continue our security uh, video series. So let's go into hands on labs. And today we're gonna be looking into cracking passwords. That's an alert for browser not supported. We're gonna spin up the machine. Let's make it bigger here. So these are the instructions if somebody wanna follow on their Windows machine. So we're gonna be cracking password using password dump and cane enable. All right, so basically cane enable is a Windows exclusive software never been ported to Linux and it uses a dictionary attack. So basically if the dictionary contains the sequence then it will otherwise it won't. So these are the instructions. Oh, let's see here. And rest of them here. Let's go. So for the desktop, double click Windows 7.rdp. That is, and basically it's a remote desktop connection to another machine. And <clears throat> click the start button. So you can see we were in Windows 10, but now our remote desktop is in Windows 7. We're gonna go ahead, click this. If I minimize it, you can see it's Windows 10, but if I click over here, I have Windows 7. So start button, search box, type CMD, so CMD is command prompt. Nope, I typed it wrong, so let's try it one more time. CMD. Ah, so it's not me, it's uh, the machine over there that's probably i'm not going to be able to do much here in types of in terms of uh, typing Let's run as administrator again see they were right that all right so right click run as admin So I have the other prompt and in the command prompt type execute the following command to dump let's see if I can nope it's still typing twice so copy can I is there a send text paste uh, send and I have it here let's go here nope let's see enter <coughs> Batch file. Maybe I do need that. Let's see now. Is it thinking? Nope. The file name, direct name, or volume label syntax is incorrect. That's a bummer. Mm. So let's actually go password.txt it's saying go to local C and password.txt. Oh, we don't have it here. <laughs> Let's see the command one more time. Uh, I'm 
okay C I don't see the C password file <coughs> maybe that's the issue you can see lab files I don't have that C lab file so I don't have password dump here it cannot go right there Copy it. <clears throat> oh. Okay, let's see. C. Backslash lab file slash pwd mp seven dot. Ah. Dump seven slash pwdum. Nope. pw dump seven dot exe. Okay, so it's exactly the same. Send. Send. Okay, so here C and here it's all right so <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and switch to this e75 is this one yeah all right sign in open just to check if it's really the browser issue hands on laps and cracking passwords I'm not sure if it's gonna let me log in here while I'm logged in there. So let's log out here. Oh, I'm already in my machine. That's cool. All right, so. Copy, paste, send. This is not right. Let's go back here. <coughs> nope. I'm. Oh, what? Well, I was in order. Uh, where's the? I don't see the even. Oh, okay, it must be here. All right, let's try it one more time. CMD. Now I can run as admin, send text, and do we have to hit enter? No, there's no enter, okay. And I have it, so it was indeed a browser issue. All right, so to verify, let's go in here and I have the password.txt file here. Let's move on. <coughs> cane. So what we're gonna do is cane, double click cane. I like right click. Okay. Cracker tab right there. 
and the left hand slot element and DLMS meshes is the very first one select add to list hmm? on the bracket and left hand then the right pen click right click and select add to list add to list this one import hashes from a text file and NT hashes from and I believe password.txt so actually for this next hmm administrator no, I don't see the administrator here oh the, maybe this one right click it and point to brute force attack ntlm hashes ntlm hashes character set select custom and replace default with zero one two three four five ah <clears throat> I don't want it actually I think it's gonna take longer but for the sake of uh, let's just follow it uh, maybe offline I will play it again is it one two three four five I don't know if I'm supposed to put that space or not and under password increase minimum to four and click start so minimum is four I did start okay so that was pretty fast it already cracked it that's it stopped okay <clears throat> and anti password was maybe this one okay administrator <clears throat> export to export it and in the save as window click the address bar file explorer and type Operating 192.168.137.1 backslash. Okay. If I to type the username. Okay. Lab file shares. left files in the file name box cracked save okay close all windows there submit now it's gonna check if I've saved that file or not so the very last step was basically uh, it checked that if I've saved that file or not and then record my answer and this will be recorded <coughs> I want to go back in here uh, in here add to list import hash from my text file again if I can go in there, open password.txt. <clears throat> ah, I can. I cannot mess with the password. Okay. 
So what we're going to do is still C password dot T. I'm going to next and no password. So you can see right now it doesn't have, to have a password. So we're going to brute force stack and TLM hash. I'm going to keep it just like this start and zero of zero hash is cracked because I believe I selected a chain zone of one hash is cracked and if I can go it's the that's the password one two three four <clears throat> all right so this is it this we're gonna wrap the video here I hope it has helped you if it has please rate comment subscribe and share and I see you in the next one